Hey guys, so some of you know today is a very big day because it is my 6th anniversary of me being on YouTube from when I created my first video, Blake looks for something to do when Blake tries wrestling. So first things first, yes, I am back from sleepaway camp and I'm ready to make new videos for you guys. Now don't get me wrong, I love my sleepaway camp, it is one of my favorite places to be ever, and I love the people in my bunk, and I love doing the camp play Shrek, where I got the character of Donkey, and I even got this award on the last day for it, Blake, most like his character for my portrayal of Donkey. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy I did the camp play because it was so fun staying back in my bunk, memorizing lines when my friends would go out to meet girls. As always, we did have some fresh blood in the bunk, but don't worry, I did not insert my dominance on them. They were all tall and spent most of the time at the camp gym, so it looked like an ant to them. So... I'm not gonna lie, though, I did not have a good time at the pool because you may not know this, but the pool is not exactly fun when you're disgusted with what your body looks like and nobody else is wearing a pool shirt, so you're just sitting down by yourself like I now have experience with. Athletics was also not great for a lot of people, because let's just say there was a lot of trampling and roasting going on. And I was the one getting trampled and being called the squirrel from Franklin because of how short yet hairy I am. So athletics was actually not fun for me. Obviously, I was just kidding for that part. Pretty much everybody at my Seaboy camp is really nice and our incredible friends that are always there for me. But after having a month to recharge my batteries and think of new ideas, we are back making great videos for you guys, starting with... Okay, to my channel, you're not going to get any great videos. You'll get halfway decent videos that I can't promise you'll enjoy them. But we're back! So six years ago, I thought that I would just make a few videos just to give myself something to do, but I ended up really loving the videos I was creating, and it became something that I generally wanted to be really great at and wanted to get better at, and since I realized that, I never stopped trying. Six years later, and I am still having fun with, and laughing with, and being motivated, and inspired to create new videos that I think are funny and amazing, and to make videos that make me proud of what we do here. I know that six years isn't really considered a long time to be on YouTube anymore, especially since some YouTubers have been on here for like... 12 years, or some since YouTube's launch in 2005, but it is still so incredible for me that I've been here for over half a decade making brand new videos. And I know I don't have that many subscribers for someone who's been on here for 6 years, and I know that every YouTuber live says this, but if I was doing this for subscribers and attention and for no other reason, then I would have gotten really frustrated a long time ago, and would be nowhere near as happy to be making you guys this video talking about this great milestone with you as I am right now. For me, the question's not, and has never really been, Will a lot of people watch if I make this type of video? The question has always been, will the people who are watching my videos love watching this as much as I love making it? And I really do have the best time making this. As a lot of you may know, my biggest dream when I grow up is to be an actor who stars in TV shows and movies, and also to be a scriptwriter and a stand-up comedian. And because I do YouTube, I get to do all of that. I get to write the scripts for the videos I star on weekly, and I get to try and make them as funny as possible. And that is just incredible for me. I know I say this every year because I remember talking about this last year, but I really do feel like we are in the best year of my life on YouTube, and I think that it's because it's clear that all of my videos come from me. I always try and show you guys who I really am through my channel instead of making a second persona for myself like a lot of people do. I am weird and honestly kind of pathetic in real life, and that's always what I've kind of wanted to really show through YouTube because that's who I really am. I really do think that YouTube has challenged me to become a better writer because my obligation is always how can I try and tell some really funny jokes in this video even when my character is in a really tough situation. And I think that it's made me a better actor too because I film my videos almost every day. It takes about four days to create one video so I'm acting a lot for each one which I generally think has made me a more talented actor, a more creative writer, and a genuinely funnier person. I'm always trying to get better and better on YouTube and even though I do feel like this has been the best year of my life on YouTube, it's still not good enough because it's never good enough. You can never be too good at the things you love doing. Quote from Blake, because I just said something really deep which never really happens. So this quote is from me. The sad reality is I can't watch you guys watch my videos. So I don't know if most of the people who watch them love them or hate them or find them really funny or find them really annoying. I just have to go with my gut, make videos that I think are really funny, and hope that's good enough for you guys. But if it's not good enough, then I'm always trying to get better at YouTube so I can become a more talented actor and writer. So if you don't love my videos now, I can't promise you you ever will, but I can promise you I will do everything I possibly can to try and make you love them.
So this video was deep, it was personal, and I loved it. Thank you all so much for watching. And whether this is the first video of mine that you have seen, or you have been watching for a few months now, or a few years now, or from all six years, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart, because it really does mean the world to me. So thank you all so much for watching, and I cannot wait for what's to come in year six, starting with The Imposter Part 2, coming out next Friday. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys then. Bye! Thank you all so much for the best six years of my life. Hey guys, so thank you all so very much for watching. Whether this is the first video of mine that you have seen or you've been watching for a few months now or a few years now or for all six years, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. And now I am back from Seaboy Camp and I am ready for year six. To see the previous skit, then watch The Imposter Part 1. And to see the previous behind the scenes, then watch Two Blakes Behind the Scenes. And to see the previous video, then watch Heading to Sleepaway Camp. And to see my five year anniversary on YouTube, then watch Five Years. And to see my first video, then watch Blake Looks for Something to Do. And my second video, Blake Tries Wrestling. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much, and I cannot wait to see you guys next Friday in The Imposter Part 2. Bye! Thank you all so much for the best six years of my life. So thank you all so much for the best six years of my life, and I will see you all in The Imposter Part 2 coming out next Friday. And I already wrote the script for it before I left for Sleepaway Camp, and I really loved it, and I think that you all will too. So thank you all so much for watching, I love you all so very much, and I will see you all next Friday in The Imposter Part 2. Thank you all so much again for the best six years of my life. Bye! Six years!